there and welcome to Squid Gaming. Now, if you're anything like me, you long for the glory days of Final Fantasy. Oh God. But it's cool because there is another JRPG series that has got your back. And it comes in the form of the Bravely series, starting with Bravely Default and now very recently with Bravely Second. It's a handheld adventure with stunning graphics, an engaging and suitably confusing story and turn-based fighting with a twist. So first things first, Bravely Second definitely isn't like Final Fantasy in the sense Bravely Second directly follows Bravely Default in terms of story. And it isn't a big fat liar like Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy? The 15th one is coming out soon. There ain't nothing final about that. But don't worry too much if you haven't played Bravely Default. The intro scene for Second sums up the entire story perfectly, complete with great honking spoilers. And although certain things may be a bit lost on you, you can still get the grasp of things pretty easily. But that's probably my favorite thing about Bravely Second. It takes everything that made Bravely Default so good, makes it all a bit better, but basically keeps it pretty much the same. The combat, the art style, the humor, the graphics, it's all very similar to Bravely Default. And you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <clears throat> In terms of what's been added, there's loads of different jobs which you can change between and grow and customize whenever you want which makes that level grind a lot more bearable. Bravely Default was also unique for its battle system, allowing you to defend and store up power, or to use them up early and unleash all hell in a hope of ending a battle sooner, which makes combat that little bit more interesting. My favorite thing about Bravely Second has to be the visuals though. The art style is so charming and beautiful, going for that cutesy romantic feel. It reminds me a lot of my favorite game, Final Fantasy IX, which is obviously a good thing. Turn on the 3D, stand still in a town, and watch it pan out to show it in all its beautiful glory. I don't want to go into plot details at all because it's safe to say that's the game's strongest point, but rest assured the story is just as engaging as it was the first time around with Bravely Default, albeit a little bit cheesy at times. So if you're new to the series but are worried about jumping straight into the second one, don't worry about it and just go for it. Or if you love the first one then you should definitely just go for it. But if you hated the first one and just hate JRPGs in general then What's wrong with you and why are you here to this point? Now go away, just go away, go away. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Take care, play lots and have fun. With the, um, something happening, who knows? Hey, uh -huh. something's happening with my mat. Mm.